it's a nightmare scenario, really, for, for a lot of families out there. What, what do you see the trajectory for inflation looking like? I think I'm, I'm not that surprised by this morning's reading. I do think we're going to see a deceleration in the coming months. So I don't think the, the, the there's very little to be to be encouraged by by this morning's. But I no. also don't think there is a need for this complete sense of panic. And I because of coronation or because of the timing of it. I think I, I, I think just it's, it would not that unreasonable and inflation didn't start reading. There is a little bit of seasonal adjustments that maybe weren't done. You know, there is always a little bit of trickiness um, around that. So I do think that some of the stickiness in prices in the services sector, as you say, yeah. there is the bank holiday. There has been good weather as well. So I think there is a little bit of that. It seems that food price inflation probably has peaked as well. So there's a little bit of good news, but very little. But I still hope that the Bank of England now isn't sort of springing into panic mode and yeah. thinking that they need to drastically change the outcome of their decision tomorrow. But I don't know, is 50 basis points a drastic change? I mean, what, what, you know, does it make more sense for, for them to actually hike more tomorrow and then wait and see how ju the July numbers come in? I actually don't think so. I think sticking mm -hmm. with what would have probably everybody agreeing being the case before this inflation yeah. um, reading and sticking with a 25 basis point is still the right thing to, to do. And mm -hmm. I think the messaging from the Bank of England needs to be Yes, inflation came in higher than consensus expectations, but that is because it is taking time for the hiking we've already done to feed yeah. through. And it's very important to remember that the Bank of England has a trickier job to manage the housing market and the mortgage situation yeah. than other developed market central banks yeah. like the ECB, like the Fed. The situation is a lot more precarious in the UK. You, meaning that if mortgages go too high, then they, they could have a recession on their hands because of the number of mortgages available and the fact that they roll over, right? Every, every exactly. Year. It's relatively unusual yeah. to have the situation in the UK where, you know, a five-year fixed mortgage is actually yeah. considered a long-term fix. It's very unusual in the US, in yeah. France, in, in Germany, in a lot of the European markets. You can fix a mortgage for the duration of it. So here the pain is going to be a lot more stark once that time comes, which I think is going to be later this year and into 2024.